The footage in this video is from See No Evil and See No Evil 2. Hi, I'm Sacked Ed, YouTuber and psychopathic murderer. But when I'm not doing either of those, I work as an inspector for the International Association of Slashers. Today I'm going to be auditing eye-catching killer Jacob Goodnight. I'll be dissecting his body of work, recommending improvements and grading his performance to see if he deserves to keep his license to kill. <laughs> Jacob's killing style is based around stealth and opportunism, finding the right time to pop out of his hiding place and dispatch an isolated victim. At his best, Jacob pulls himself with the finesse of a young Michael Myers. However, he consistently makes the mistake of attacking multiple survivors at a time. <laughs> which almost always backfires. I'd like to see Jacob take a more patient approach to his killing. His bloodlust often leads to him running out at every group of survivors that he sees. He doesn't need to do this. Survivors are generally pretty stupid and will split up on their own volition. This is right, we should split up. Yeah, good idea. He should wait for this, then pick them off one at a time. I'd recommend trying some mindfulness techniques, maybe a book on tape. Jacob Goodnight does his best work when in a hunting ground that he has adapted to complement his killing style. In the hotel, Jacob used a combination of peepholes, two-way mirrors and tripwires in order to keep constant tabs on his victims. This is an ingenious strategy that very few slashes of his kind take advantage of. Having a knowledge of your victim's whereabouts makes it all the easier to get the jump on those oblivious survivors. <laughs> Jacob uses his signature weapon, a hook on a chain, to great effect. Though he doesn't particularly utilise it to kill his victims, he will stick them with a hook and drag them away with his immense strength, isolating victims from their friends. Other than the aforementioned hook and drag, and the one time he used a chain and a corpse to barricade a door, he doesn't really use the versatility that this weapon provides. I'd like to see him employ the hook and chain in new and unique ways. Every slasher has a tragic backstory that would drive a mere man to lunacy. But Jacobs comes up so often that it frequently impedes his work. The mark of a good slasher is the ability to channel traumatic life events into a focused and measured approach to murder. The fact that Jacob can't lay his eyes on a young attractive woman without thinking of his mother, instead of planning on how he will dismember said woman, does make me concerned about his mental state. I'll be referring him to the IAS Occupational Therapy Team for examination. Very good, Jacob. Now what do you see in this picture? I see the sin on you. Not quite. It's, it's actually a butterfly. Despite not having any known supernatural qualities, Jacob is very durable, taking an unbelievable amount of damage, but he always manages to pick himself back up. Ah. Jacob has this peculiar eye-collecting fetish that, although unique, prevents him from carrying out some of the coolest kills, the ones where heads go splat. All in all, his kills are kind of meh, apart from one or two exceptions. It seems to me that Jacob hasn't yet built up the confidence to attempt the riskier, visually appealing kills. <laughs> now, some YouTube personalities would lead you to believe that the best metric to judge a slasher by is their body count. But what really matters is their KTE, or kill to escape ratio because killing is all about consistency. And let's face it, you don't want a survivor going around telling people how they got away from you. So I was like, hell no, ain't nobody killing me. So then I took his Captain Kirk looking ass and I threw him out the window. Jacob has a woeful KTE of 0.77, meaning that for every 10 victims he encounters, approximately two and a quarter get out alive. In conclusion, Jacob Goodnight is a promising slasher with some impressive technical ability, but is hampered by his inability to stay focused. If Jacob manages to overcome his personal issues, I can see him becoming quite the formidable slasher. For this reason, I'll be letting Mr. Goodnight off with a pass. Make sure to like and subscribe, or, or I'll whip your fucking face off. off.